Let's be honest, if you were going to listen to this audio quality for the next 5 minutes, you would probably consider skipping to the next video. This is why audio quality and audio equipment is really important. In this video, I'm talking about two commonly used types of microphone. Your lapel mics as well as your shotgun mics. We're going to talk about when is it appropriate to use either one and which one I commonly use. Let's roll that intro. What's up everybody, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by. And if this is the first time you're visiting, hopefully you will enjoy this video and you learn something new. So this question come up often, what type of mic should I use for my video content? Uh, should I use a shotgun mic or a lavalier or a lapel mic? Now the answer is, either one could be absolutely fine for your scenario, depends on how and what you're shooting. For example, if you are going to do a vlog style video and you're going to be fairly close to the camera, shotgun mics work absolutely fine. Typically, they are best suited if the subject is going to be closer to the microphone, to the, uh, to the boom itself, or if you're going to pick up some environment uh, background audio and these mics are going to be perfectly fine. Now, if you're going to be also doing interviews that you need to pick up the audio from multiple uh, people, also shotgun mics will work fairly fine. In my situation, because of the type of lens I'm using, I'm using a 50 millimeter on a crop sensor, so the camera is about 11 feet from me. If I were to use the shotgun mic, I will get a lot of background noise and my voice is not gonna be as clear and it'll be filled with a lot of air. So in post-production, I have to make a lot of correction. This is Rode Video Mic Go audio test from nine feet. Now, on the other hand, these lapel mics, I just simply clip it on and I get a very good quality audio without a lot of background noise. Now, the downside of these lapel mics are it only works for me if I'm going to be interviewing someone that is not going to be suitable. I have to use an adapter to try to have two lapel mics. This particular lapel mic I picked up, uh, it's only 20 bucks and it comes with a cord that is 234 inches which is about 19 and a half feet it comes with a backup battery uh, it also comes with an adapter so if you're trying to use it with any kind of amplifier you can use that also it has an active and passive button so you can actually hook it up directly to your smartphone and use it that way or if you're trying to hook it up to your to your dslr camera you can do that and it would use the battery inside the mic itself to power it and there's not a whole lot to these um, uh, mics. Either way, I will include the link to all these products in the description below so you guys can check them out. Now, um, do this. Comment down below what type of mic are you using and are you happy with it? And have you experimented with either one of these mics? At the end, I will do a quick audio test so you guys can see the difference at uh, different distances from the camera and how the audio will actually drop and you lose quality. But this particular shotgun mic uh, by Rhodes, this is the largest non-battery powered shotgun mic you can get uh, from Rhodes. I think they sell about 85 bucks and uh, it's very simple. You just plug it in into your mic port on the camera and you can just slide this in in the hot shoe at the top. It comes with a shock absorber. Um, that's the red uh, leg you see right here. Uh, this particular mic, actually I got it out of a creative bundle packet I got for my Canon 80D. But like I said, you can buy this separate for about 85 bucks on Amazon. Link in the description below. This is Rode Video Mic Go audio test from three feet. This is Rode Video Mic Go audio test from 6 feet. This is Rode Video Mic Go audio test from 9 feet. So this was it guys. This was the review of this lapel mic I picked up and the difference between that and a shotgun mic. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please remember to smack that like button. Also, don't forget to comment down below and let me know what type of camera or mic are you using for your videos. See you in the next one.
<laughs> He's still watching. <laughs> You're waiting for bloopers, huh? I got for my Canon 80D, but you can lap, but like I said, you but you can lap, but you can lap. So this was it, guys. This was the review of the. Uh, hopefully, this video makes sense and. Well, if you're still watching, thanks for hanging in there. See you in the next one.